So what you're telling me is it's possible then? Entirely possible. We've already seen plenty of success with our other patients. These are just a few who have undergone treatment very similar to your own. There aren't that many here. You have to understand, Mr. Richards. VR therapy is an entirely new frontier. Respective patients like yourself can be quite hesitant, but I assure you, in every single one of these cases, we've had nothing but success. Am I your first? Our first? Amnesiac. Oh. Well, um, I'd be lying if I said your case wasn't unique, but I have the utmost confidence it can help you. Trust me. Well, what else have I got to lose, right? Mr. Richards. Isaac, please just call me Isaac. Yes, of course. Isaac it is. So, so this is it, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, don't let its simplistic design fool you. In a bit, these will allow us to peer into the deepest recesses of your mind. So how will it attach to my brain? You don't use probes, do you? No, there's no probes. The basic idea is that our software, working alongside the VR headset, will allow us to manifest your subconscious as though it were real. Program that's still in the beta stages, right? Somebody has done his research. Yes, it is still in beta, but please don't let that discourage you. We've taken absolutely every precaution to ensure your safety. And if something does go wrong? In the event of any unexpected errors, I can disengage the program remotely. And of course, if at any time you feel uncomfortable or want out, just let me know and I'll take it from there. You're in complete control here, Isaac. Okay. Okay, seems simple enough, you know. Go in and if something goes wrong or if I want out, just say so. Seems like a holodeck or something. <laughs> well. If that helps you to understand it, please. All right, it seems like you're all strapped in and ready to start. Now I have to go over to the other room to activate the headset and monitor you. So I'll be gone for just a moment before you hear from me again. Sound good? Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Great. Isaac, can you hear me? Yeah, jeez, you scared me. Apologies. Are you ready to get started? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Take a deep breath for me, Isaac. Yeah, just, just fine. Uh, is this, um... Yeah, you are in a virtual reality representation of your mind. At least the entrance to it. You can think of it as a sort of waiting room. Now, whenever you're ready in your own time, I'd like you to go through that door over there. Where does it go? That door is the manifestation of the entrance to your subconscious. So the idea is, when you open it, you'll be going into the depths of your psyche. Well, that's freaking unnerving. Think there's clowns on the other side? Sorry, cl clowns? Why are you afraid of them? Yeah, terrified. That much I remember. <laughs> Funny how that works. Well, I am too, so let's hope for both our sakes we don't run into any clowns. Yeah, I'm terrified enough as it is. Ah, uh, it won't open. That's funny, there shouldn't be any room. Hey. Everything okay?
Look, seeing as this is my brain and everything, maybe we can cut the jokes. It's all right, Isaac. It's probably just a simple glitch. Everything's all right. Nothing to worry about. How am I trapped in a room that doesn't even fucking exist? Can someone let me out, please? Please? Can you tell me where I... Your fault. What's my fault? I don't understand. Don't you remember? Remember what? The accident, Isaac. The car. It's your fault we crashed. No. You killed No, no, me. I never do that. You killed me. You okay, I would never me. do that. I would you never do that. Me. Yes, Isaac. You remember now, don't you? I do. I'm so sorry. I know. It's okay now, Isaac. Stay with me, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> 